I think that I handled doing that first show in a kind of fun, joyous way. And because the show had been criticized so much before it came on the air, I thought, well, better have a good time while this is on because it's probably, you know, a few shows and it'll be gone. And then it lasted a whole season and we got a pick up and I thought, oh boy, this is fun. For one thing, I made more money than I'd ever made in my life working on stage. And that was very nice because it allowed me to buy a home, which was wonderful. And the, the thing that was a little disconcerting, because you know you can work on the stage all your life and nobody ever recognizes you on the street, but in television, it is so pervasive. It's so in your house and sometimes in your bedroom at night that you become an individual to people. And it was a little odd to be in Nordstrom's and have somebody come up and say, hey, Catherine, how are you? I, I saw the show last night, it was funny, D to call you by your first name. And they, from publicity, they know about you, that you're married, and uh, that you come from Texas. And that kind of thing was really amazing to me. But people were so, so nice and so pleasant toward me. And I, I realized that I had a wonderful job because I made them laugh. And laughter is such a marvelous thing, really. It's such a healing thing. That's one of the reasons I've always enjoyed doing comedy. Uh, and it was great fun for me because I knew that my character was good. I knew the show was good, and it was giving pleasure to a lot of people. And also, I think one of the reasons is that it was good when people came to talk to me, is that I, I came forward to them. I didn't hold back or try to be invisible or or think in terms of people are intruding in my life. I never had that attitude because I realized the reason I had a job was because of these people. And the fact that they liked what I did meant that I could probably go on having the job. And I was appreciative of that. And I would never walk up to a person, another actor, even although I'm an actor, I would never walk up to them and talk to them. I wouldn't, I would be too shy to do that. And I thought, gosh, these people have a lot of courage to come forward and speak to you and call you by your first name and, and tell, tell you that you made them laugh. And I appreciated that. I appreciated what uh, courage it took and what nerve. Uh, I might, I might glance at another actor, and, but I, I don't think I would ever walk up to them and <laughs> say, hey, how are you? Uh, so that part of it was kind of funny and fun to me. And because I, I gave back to them as a person, and I think Texans are pretty outgoing people anyway. They just walk up and say, hi, how are you? Um, I enjoyed that part of it. I didn't think of it as intrusive. Uh, I, I thought of it as that's part of my job, to represent the show well and the character well. And uh, it was really kind of fun.